previously on Oathbringer. <laughs> hey, Internet, it's me, and it's Raffo. Rhythm of War soon! Dawn Shard now! There's definitely no more time to read, so let me help you catch up. My last video sums up the Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, and Edge Dancer, so if you need those, check it out. If you just need a refresher on Oathbringer, I got you covered right here. Prologue. Eshenai at the pre-assassination feast meets Gavilar, who shows her the weird black sphere and tells her of his plan to return her gods. Back in Erythru, Dalinar revisits his very first vision, a devastated Kolinar with a figure with nine shadows. Then everyone finds out Sadius is dead. Good riddance, that filthy, creme-covered piece of sh**. Our first flashback of Dalinar in his conquest of Alethkar with his brother. He pulls a Genghis Khan and recruits the guy that shot him. Navani asks about Dalinar's first wife, who Dalinar admits he can't remember because of the Night Watcher. No priest wants Dalinar to marry his technical sister-in-law, so she suggests having the Stormfather do it. Wasting absolutely no time thinking about it, everyone goes up to the roof and they get hitched. Dalinar starts remembering stuff. Kaladin makes it to Hearthstone and punches Rashon in the face. He summons his blade, meets his baby brother, and flies off to track the transformed parchment. Shallan has trouble drawing Erythru, then makes a holographic map with Dalinar. Someone else got murdered! Adolin's on the case. We see the Blackthorn's first experience at the Rift, when he wins Oathbringer from a kid. Dalinar tries to politic his way into other oath gates with no luck. Elokar complains about being usurped, but wants to save Kolinar. Teravangian agrees to meet. No mating! So Shallan and Adolin sword fight instead. Kaladin goes camping with the parchment. Dalinar wrestles while arguing philosophy. He hears Navani say his late wife's name. Vale does some investigative work in some bars and ends up stabbing through her own hand. Another pair of copycat murders is discovered. The Blackthorn forgot his dinner knife, so he dodges some boulders in a high storm looking for it. No dice. That assassin has a nice one, though, so Dalinar stabs him with it and finally gets to eat his dinner. Also, he agrees to marry Evie. Shallan and Adolin go visit Ayali, and Mraze is there with an aviar. Exploring Erythru, she tells Pattern the story of the girl who looked up, then chases after the shadowy Spren who was watching, all the way back to the market where Rock gets stabbed in the hand. The Blackthorn almost kills Gavilar while being consumed by the thrill, so he vows to never be king. Amaram gets made High Prince of Sadius's princedom. Dalinar finds Oathbringer and gives it to Ayali. Shallan and company find Risha Fear, and she gets personal. Kaladin finally gives up camping, saves some humans from a high storm with a windspread wall, then flies back to Urithru. Yasna arrives as well. Puli has lots of wood to pick up to keep his lighthouse burning for those with light in their pockets. Ardents are reading romance novels and translating the Dawn Chant. Venli finds Eshenai's body and shards, and gets chased by a tiny ball of light. Shallan has difficulty adjusting back to Yasna's presence. Apparently the jeweled pillar where Risha Fear was is a big ol' fabriel. Dalinar welcomes Queen Fen into his Midnight Essence vision. Bridge Four gets Radiant Practice using the Honor Blade on the Shattered Plains. Elokar recruits Kaladin to go to Kolinar. Rock breathes in Stormlight, and his family shows up. Apparently something's wrong at the peaks. Meeting time! Yasna wants to slaughter all the parchment and murder the Heralds to prevent the desolation. <sighs> Shallan learns about the Sons of Honor and the Skybreakers. Vale bonds with her guards. Teft's on a Fire Moss Bender, sold his uniform coat, and gets chased by an Honor Spren. Kaladin and Rock bring him back. Dalinar gets Gox in a vision, but Lift busts him out. Moash kills and gets recruited by the Fused, abandoning his shard blade. Kaladin has expanded Windrunner recruiting efforts, and Scar starts glowing. Yasna talks with Ivory, who tells her about Odium. We get a hint of childhood trauma, and also learn that Wit told her about the Recreants. Dalinar remembers Adolin's birth, Yasna's apparent lunacy, and revolution at the Rift. The cast flies back to the war camps, and Dalinar discovers Talm missing. Moash heads towards Kolinar with the Fused. He meets Leshwi, the Fused he killed, and gets set free. Then he tries to pull a Kaladin and teaches some listeners the spear. Yasna tears Amaram a new one, and Renarin finds the Gemstone Library. Relaine still feels excluded from Bridge 4, as well as his people. Then he's conspicuously absent for the rest of the book. Dalinar meets Odium, who turns down a champion fight. Lift shows up, and Odium vanishes. A smoky soulcaster and crew reach Imia, but ate some bad food. That's the risk when your cook is a bunch of bugs and wants to prevent the ends of worlds. Teravangian has a smart day and decides to support, then supplant, Dalinar. He doesn't think they can defeat Odium. Venli faces the Everstorm, and Odium bars her from becoming a fused. She hides the tiny spren. Dalinar and company make it to Thalen City, and he gets into a sword fight with Queen Fen's son, leaning in to getting stabbed. He heals himself with Stormlight, then heals a wall with some more. Fen joins up. 
Kaladin and crew make it to besieged Kolinar, deciding to sneak in. Adolin brings them to his tailor. Shallan draws some altered spren, and they hear about the wall guard and cult of moments. Shallan and Kaladin try to deliver a letter to the queen, but instead she gets stabbed and sees Sia'anat in the mirror. Dalinar heads to Azir. He gives them essays, manipulates spiritual connection to understand their language, and chills with Lyft. Then all his past memories come flooding back. Shallan feels fine after being murdered, so she goes into the city and finds Wit telling a story about one of the moon he tells her about the heart of the Revel. The rest of the group go to a light-eyed party, except Kaladin, who goes to the Wall instead, where he meets Azure and joins the Wall Guard. The Blackthorn, back at the Rift, meets Tanalan, the boy he spared. He chases after a traitorous caravan. Vale and the boys go steal some food from a wealthy light-eyed woman, and she gets shot in the head with a crossbow. After waking up from her second murder, she distributes the food in the city. Shallan starts to split her different personalities becoming harder to control. She draws Elokar as he could be, which almost brings him to tears. At the Rift, Dalinar got a hillside dropped on him, and it made him really mad. He makes some terrible, heartbreaking decisions, and still hears the screams of his wife. Back in Kolinar, Vatha creates a Stormlight Illusion. They're allowed into the Revel, and Shallan makes her way to the center of the Oathgate platform, which is covered in a dark mass. A different voice warms her of a trap, and she notices her shadow pointing the wrong way. The wall alarm sounds, and she runs. Meanwhile, Kaladin is questioning Azure about her history and weird shard blade. Then, the wall gets attacked. Kaladin fights and manages to kill a fused, hitting its gemmed heart. He summons his shard blade and teams up with Azure to hold the walls. Azure shows him the aluminum-lined room and soulcasters for food. Kaladin tells her about the Oathgate. Shallan goes into the city to distribute her remaining food and finds out it's all being stolen. This breaks her real bad, flipping through hundreds of personalities. Wit finds her and gives her a pep talk, retelling the girl who looked up with light weaving. The gang gets back together and they assault the palace while the fused assault the walls. Kaladin, Scar, and Drehi go off to fight a thunderclass, while Adolin, Elokar, and Azure cut their way toward the queen, who is acting like nothing's wrong. Kaladin and Syl find Gavinor, her son, and managed to stab a spren. She brags about bonding an ancient spren, and her eyes turn red. They run away. Meanwhile, Shallan returns to the Oathgate platform and confronts the unmade there. Her shard blade does nothing to the giant purple heart, so she touches it. Bad time. She screams for wit to help, and the heart oozes away. Shallan, Adolin, and Azure make it inside and meet Sia'anat. The Oathgate is a trap. Kaladin sees friends kill each other, while Elokar starts to say the first ideal, but the words, like the spear in his chest, get stuck. Moash salutes Kaladin. I hate that guy! And the corrupted queen descends the stairs. Drehi and Scar hold the retreat. Kolinar is lost. The rest of the group make it to the Oath Gate, and Shallan activates it, with Sia Anat promising, I'll try not to kill you. They flop into Shadesmar, meeting larger forms of Pattern, Sill, and Adolin's Shardblade. Venli has become a singer-storyteller slash propagandist. Her strange spren refuses to leave. Mem is good at her job of getting otherworldly stains out of clothing. Her assistant turns out to be a herald, which Raze was counting on. A bright lord from Amaram's army meets an oceanic hog in Herdaz. After the rift, Dalinar dove headfirst into destructive alcoholism. He can still hear her screams. Eventually, after the Parshendi are discovered, he throws his sons out in a fit of rage while trying to find more booze. Renarin quietly comes in with a small bottle and gives Dalinar a hug. He breaks down. Zeth is in the Pure Lake! He speaks the first ideal with other Skybreaker hopefuls. There's a test to find some escaped convicts, and Zeth realizes the main criminal is the embezzling warden. He draws Nightblood and kills him, then recites the second ideal. After a rough night in Shadesmar, Adolin, Kaladin, and Azure do a kata. They get chased by some anger spread. I'm not angry! I'm a little angry! And make it to a lighthouse. The Coalition of Nations has its first meeting in Erythiru. After much politicking, Navani allocates roles based on the various nations' strengths. Kaladin tries to scout the lighthouse, but anticipation spren sort of give him away. Blah, 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 blah. He meets the Elantrian inside and touches his ball. Crystal Ball. Kaladin sees a vision of Dalinar in danger at Thalen City, and they barter passage onto a ship. Back in the Pure Lake, Zeth has a chalk fight. Then Nail shows up. Dalinar begins to feel the thrill again, and flees to Erythru. Desperate for a diversion, he gives in to wine. After time on the ship, the Shadesmar 6 plus Maya make it to Celebrant. They split up. Kaladin sees a pretty painting. They get chased by Fused, and Syl reveals herself to an honor spread ship so they can escape. Dalinar has a vision of going shopping with Noadon and a bunch of Thunderclasts. What's the most important step a man can take? He remembers Gavilar's funeral, and Yasna reading him the Way of Kings. He decides to seek the old magic. Zeth and Nail fly to the southern coast. Nail dual-wields shard blades, and tells Zeth about Ahar- Ah- Aharitium. Ahari- 
Ahar Aharitium? Aharitium. Dalinar comes out of hiding and realizes they need to protect Thalen City. He plans on meeting a singer leader during the next high storm. The Shadesmar gang are on another boat. Shallan is struggling with her personalities, Azure is planning on leaving, Kaladin attracts a bunch of Windspren, and Adolin thinks he's hot. Dalinar meets Venli in a vision, into which Odium breaks. And I do mean breaks. Dalinar holds it together long enough for Venli to grab Timber. Odium promises peace after Dalinar destroys the world. The Shadesmar 6 plus Maya become the Shadesmar 6 without Azure, who stays on the boat. They jump off and head to Thalen City. Dalinar's already there, meeting with the Coalition. An early Everstorm just hit Shinovar, and it turns out that humans were the Voidbringers all along. What? The Coalition falls apart. Kaladin remembers Terra. They make it to Thalen City and see the Oath Gate, surrounded by an army of Spren. Venli speeches and then gets put on a boat, ready to assault the city. Risen's working in the Thalen Gemstone Reserve and helps her Babsk start an audit. One of the guards was a light-weaving Fused who tried to steal the King's Drop before Risen shot him in the face. Another Fused steals the Honor Blade from Bridge 4 while wearing Teft's coat. Dalinar visited the Night Watcher and begged for forgiveness. Cultivation offered a pruning instead. The Everstorm arrives. Dalinar grabs his copy of the Way of Kings and heads out into the city. Yasna seeks out Renarin and sees his corrupted Spren. She summons her Shardblade. Teft's being chased by his Spren and sees listeners arrive in Erythiru. Navani and Queen Fen are confident on the wall. Then two Thunderclasts show up. Venli and Kaladin watch from both realms as the Thrill arrives and enters Amaram's army. They turn and attack the city. Kaladin approaches the Oathgate and takes some Fused on a merry chase. Dalinar finds Risen, who tells him about the King's Drop, which Odium is now in possession of. Shallan makes it to the Oathgate, thanks to a group of illusions sprinkled with real folk. The Oathgate Spren say she can't pass through. Zeth and Nail are watching the battle from above. Lyft splits from Gox and meets Dalinar exiting the city. He tasks her with getting the ruby back. Adolin gets stabbed, and Maya attacks the fuse that did it. He and Shallan jump into the beads to get Kaladin, who ran out of Stormlight. Lyft gets rocked by a Thunderclast, which then gets cut in half by Zeth. Navani and the Thalen royalty are captured by Amaram soldiers. Ash finds Talm. Renarin sees his own death and Dalinar's submission to Odium. Dalinar asks for a contest of champions. Didn't know he was going to bat for the other team. Odium floods Dalinar's memory with his atrocities. A fused steals Nightblood's sheath from Zeth, and he's unable to drop the sword. Kaladin tries to say the next ideal, but can't. Navani takes out her captors with a pain reel. Odium destroys Dalinar's favorite book. Uncool! Lyft tries to heal Zeth, then gets tapped by Nightblood, too. Yasna chooses not to kill Renarin. If that vision was wrong, maybe others could be, too. You cannot have my pain. Dalinar recites his next oath. He grips a realm in each hand and unites them, and hears Evie's forgiveness. Light explodes in Shadesmar, and the gang hops through Honor's perpendicularity. Talm becomes lucid, overjoyed that he held off desolations for 4,000 years. Teft will protect those he hates, even if the one he hates most is himself. Dalinar gets flocked with glory spren, and Stormlight fills scattered spheres on the ground. The abundance of Stormlight sates Nightblood, who was apparently really hungry. Everyone gets to Dalinar, who gives orders. Amaram swallows a rock, and dual wields Oathbringer and his original blade. He starts to leak smoke and attacks Kaladin. Adolin's healed and runs off to find Yasna while Shallan lightweaves an army, assisted by Vale and Radiant. Yasna's doing just fine. Let there be wall. So Adolin goes to help Queen Fen. She's fine too. So Adolin goes to fight a Thunderclass. Dalinar confronts the Thrill. Zeth eventually gets the King's Drop, but is chased by some feud, so he hucks it and joins back with Lyft. Amaram gets more and more funky looking. Venli bonds Timber, which contains the Void Spren in her gem heart, and says the first ideal. Adolin chops off a Thunderclass foot, learns his sword's name, and teams up with a Thalen Shardbearer. They both get Thunder Slapped, and Maya comes back three heartbeats early. Renarin shows up, gets crushed, is fine, cuts off a thunder hand. Zeth catches the ruby and does a fake handoff to Lyft, who dives into the thrill. Amaram monologues while fighting Kaladin, eventually taken to the sky, which is Kaladin's. He cracks the gemstone in Amaram's chest and gets swarmed by the fused. Yasna makes it to Shallan, who is radiant. Yasna is a soul-casting boss! Renarin beats the thunderclast and heads for the Oath Gate. Teft arrives, leading Bridge 4. Lyft gives Dalinar the ruby, and he embraces the thrill one last time. Kaladin runs out of stormlight. Amaram gets up to attack, then drops with two massive arrows in his head and chest. Glowy Rock knows how to shoot. With the thrill contained, Amaram's troops give up and the fused retreat. Venli tells retreating parchment of the listeners, her people. Zeth swears the third and fourth ideals to Dalinar. 
Lopin jokingly swears his second ideal and flips off the Stormfather. Don't wear it out, Nako. Ash feels her father die and falls unconscious. Yasna recognizes them, thanks to drawings from Hoyd. Kaladin finds Scar and Drehi and Elokar's son. Teravangian meets with Odium and strikes a deal to save Carbranth. Renarin may be key. Adolin and Shallan are gonna get hitched, and Dalinar wants Adolin to be king. He admits to killing Sadius. Which means about Yasna, we can finally say, Yas Queen! Moash gets Yezreen's honor blade, and the fused name him Vire. He who quiets. Shallan's brothers get to Urithuru with a note from Rays instructing her to recruit Risha Fear to the Ghost Bloods. Dalinar begins writing Oathbringer. Epilogue. Wit pontificates on the meaning of art, performs an adoption, and rescues the cryptic that was going to bond Elokar. Life before death, little one. Three months after that, Dawn Shard. A year after, we have Rhythm of War. Hopefully this recap was helpful in preparing you to jumping into that. If you want more info, the 17th Shard recently finished an interactive map and timeline of Roshan which is super fun to explore, as well as an excellent article series on Roshar's history and characters, both of which you can see in the description. As always, thank you so much for the incredible artists that allowed me to show their work here. Give them some love as well. Pre-orders and even a few digital release party tickets are still available for Rhythm of War, so make sure to get your copy. That way, you can read and find out.